Make sure you guys subscribe and hit the bell icon to turn on notifications. That way you never miss a video. All your support is much appreciated. What is going on guys? This is Prodigy and today we're going to be comparing H1Z1 and Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. I know these games have received a lot of comparison before because they're both very similar in the fact that they're both battle royale games and like survival games and I believe uh, one of the guys uh, from H1Z1 actually uh, was one of the developers on this game so they do share a lot of things in common but uh, people often ask if they should play player unknowns battlegrounds or h1z1 so i'm just going to kind of make a little comparison video and you know go through the differences and whether or not uh what game you should pick to play okay so starting off uh like i said before both of these games are battle royale style games you know last man standing wins you spawn into a map you parachute in you gotta find loot and kill people and hopefully be the last one standing so they're both similar in that aspect and they're both are still in early access i want to say that they are not fully released games yet they are still in early access so the games are not complete yet and I just wanted to kind of give that disclosure because there are still a lot of bugs and glitches in both games. So they're not complete in that aspect. So you're, you're going to run into that if you buy either one of these games. That's just a given. You're going to run into something, some type of issues with it. So just keep in mind, they are both early access games. All right. So moving on into the direct comparisons, we're going to talk about H1Z1 first. And now this is H1Z1 King of the Kill. Uh, H1Z1 re originally released uh, January 15th of 2015, but it was H1Z1 just survive then basically. And so what Daybreak then did was they split the game up into two games and now they have H1Z1 Just Survive and H1Z1 King of the Kill. And so for the purposes of this video, what I'm going to be referring to is H1Z1 King of the Kill because that is the game that most people do play and the one edit that is directly comparable to Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. So just keep that in mind. Uh, and so... Um, I said uh, H1Z1 originally came out on January 15th of 2015, but uh, King of the Kill specifically came out on February 18th of 2016, so a little over a year ago, maybe a year and like three or four months. And uh, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds released March 23rd of 2017, so keep that in mind. Now, in relation to H1Z1, the game is far more arcade like, you know, it's uh, the graphics are not as realistic. Um, it's a 100% third person game that, well, they're both third person games, but, uh, the movement speed is faster. Uh, there's less guns. It's much more simple. I think there's only about five guns, the AR-15, the AK-47, the uh, shotgun and pistols and the sniper rifle. So that's, yeah, about five guns there total or five classes of guns total in H1Z1 so it's definitely a lot more simple there's no attachments or anything every gun is the same um, you know you, you spawn in you land on the map you get one of those guns and you, you try and kill people and yeah <laughs> that's pretty much it. Uh, it it's a lot more faster paced the map is a lot more open uh, and there's you know I think I, I would say there's less places to loot I would say loot is a little more common in H1Z1 than it is in Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. In my experience, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is looting is a little slower because it's harder to find good loot. Uh, so that is uh, something to keep in mind there. So the general thing with H1Z1 is that it's just a faster paced game. So if you like fast paced, you know, arcade style games, then H1Z1 is definitely going to be for you. All right. Now, in reference to Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, like I said, that came out uh, in March of 2017, so just a couple months ago. Has not been out very long at all, uh, but it is much more realistic and in depth in terms of gameplay. You know, the graphics are much more realistic. They're not great yet because they're still, you know, working on a lot of it, but. Uh, the game is just a lot more realistic, you know, there's a lot more different weapon classes and gun variety uh, the, in each category, assault rifles, SMGs, shotguns, sniper rifles, there's at least three of each category. Um, but um, And each gun can have its own attachments, you know, they have extended mags, quick draws, compressors, flash hiders, suppressors. 
uh, optic scopes, red dots, ACOGs, uh, four times, eight times scopes. So a lot more uh, weapon variety and customization in this game. So it's definitely a lot more in-depth and tactical than that of H1Z1. Uh, H1Z1 is fairly simplistic, like I was just saying. You know, you, you pick up a gun and you try and kill people. That's pretty much it. You don't have to wor really worry about anything else. But uh, this game, Player on those Battlegrounds, is a lot more tactical in the sense that, uh, you know, you have to be smart with your loadout. Decide what attachments you're going to rock, what type of scopes you're going to need, uh, the vantage points that you're going to get consistently. So uh, it, it, in it, its positioning is a lot more important in Player Unknown's Battlegrounds than in H1Z1 as well. In my experience, that's just that what I've come to find out that will be uh, super helpful. Now, H1Z1 currently has a one map that is uh, everybody plays on, and Player Unknown's Battlegrounds also has one map, but they have said that they plan to release more maps for the game in the future. So uh, at least two more maps are in development right now, so there will be three current concurrent maps going on in rotation. So uh, if that does happen, then uh, Battlegrounds will have more maps than H1Z1. H1Z1 only does one map at a time in rotation, so two maps since the game's existence, but only uh, one at a time. You can't play the two interchangeably, so. But uh, Battlegrounds would have more variety in that in the maps aspect, so that would be a little cool to have uh, multiple maps and being able to ch uh, experience different maps. And that would also add to the tactical feature because you would have to learn different maps and you know where to go, uh, where the best loot is, and you know things of that nature. So that would help in that aspect. But um, overall, Battlegrounds is just more slower paced. It's more dynamic and immersive, in my opinion, because you really have to be a lot more aware of your position. Uh, another cool thing is the weather also changes. So sometimes you'll get like a rainy map and, you know, it's you can hear the rain. It's loud. There's lightning, thunder. Uh, the vision is a little blurry because, you know, obviously it's raining super hard. It's a thunderstorm outside. So it's a little difficult to play in, but I kind of like that in the sense that it makes it a little more realistic. You know, if you're going to war and it just so happens to be raining, what are you going to do? Not go to war? No, you, you got to go to war because it's your job. You go to war. Who cares if it's raining or not? You know, a, a battle has to be fought. So it's just you have to play it a lot more carefully and be aware, much more aware of your surroundings if you are playing in a rainy environment so I like I like the fact that they implemented that and I think it's a good change but yeah it's de the game is definitely more slower paced more tactical and more well thought out than that of H1Z1. H1Z1 like I said it's an arcade game you know you just you spawn in you try and get some guns as fast as you can and you just run around and try and kill people and hope that you don't die so that's 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 pretty much it right there so to make it simple and directly compare the two, I mean, both games have their issues. You know, there's still a lot of bugs in both games. Uh, for example, in Battlegrounds right now, the frame rate is pretty bad. Uh, so hopefully they're working on the optimization of this. Well, they are. They've, they've said they're working on the optimization and specifically the frame rate. But the frame rate is pretty bad. The desync is also pretty bad. Uh, sometimes you get shot around corners. And it's pretty frustrating. But the game has not been out in that long. So I'm going to give them a little bit of slack here. And hope they, soon they fix or at least attempt to fix some of these things and make it a little bit better. Because I do like the game. Um, but um. That is just something that I would love to see them fix. So both games definitely do have their issues. So ultimately, if you enjoy a more arcade style, you know, faster paced game, then H1Z1 is probably going to be the one for you. Like if you play a lot of Call of Duty and you're interested in trying a Battle Royale game, H1Z1 is probably going to be the game for you. But if you play a game like Battlefield, uh, you know, it's a little more slower paced, a little more tactical then battlegrounds might be a little more up your alley it's just a little more depth in in depth a little more tactical it requires a little more thought to it so but either way you know it, it all comes down to your personal preference so me personally i'm having a lot more fun with battlegrounds right now which is surprising because i didn't think i would like the game but i tried it out and i actually do enjoy it so 
that's my personal opinion, but based on everything I said here today, hopefully you guys can form your own opinions. Uh, that's pretty much all I got to say. Uh, hopefully you found this useful if you are undecided between the two games. If you did, or if you just want to support my channel, I'd appreciate if you dropped a like on the video. That'd really mean a lot to me. Um, and subscribe to the channel too if you want, if you're new, if you haven't done so already. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate that as well. But that is pretty much it for me. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, once again, this is Prodigy. Thanks for listening.